I'm looking for a volunteer for the audience. I'm looking for somebody brave, tough, strong, not necessarily sober. You look perfect. <laughs> Would you mind assisting me? I was five years old and I went to a Christmas show and there was a magician performing there and I just fell in love with the art, the idea that anything you could imagine you could do on stage. It was just so beautiful. There was the wonder and things you never thought of before and just the freedom of it all. It was wonderful. Here we go. <laughs> really what we're doing goes back to the 20s and 30s where they had Blackstone and Thurston and Houdini and Dante and they used to do these beautiful two hour evening shows and they would do these, the most spectacular illusions you'd ever seen and then they would also do wonderful magic like you know dancing handkerchiefs and producing umbrellas and, and bringing kids up and performing with them and I think we've gone back to that style. Sit up. Because the only way this blade's coming off you is up and over your head. There you go. Feel that. Ah! <laughs> go ahead. You can feel it. Isn't that cool? Is that real? Yeah. There you go. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Doug is now twice the man he used to be. <laughs> so now the studio can put you to work in two different places. My wife and my daughter both do magic in the show. They're both magicians. Going up. We're really proud of the fact that wherever we go, they say the one thing that makes our show very unique is our ability to rapport with the audience and to get them, to bring them on stage and become part of the wonder and the magic in the show, even when they're sitting in their seats, and to communicate with them. So we're, that's really what it's about for us. Every time the audience smiles or gasps or um, we can see them thinking about something, you know, all those wonderful things that go through their mind, that's what we're working for. And we're not working to fool them. Uh, we understand that magic is an art form, it takes place in the real world, and I think part of the fun for people is trying to figure out how the tricks might be done. Of course, we're not telling because we're sworn to secrecy. <laughs> magic is a very uh, tough art form. If you uh, tell how the tricks are done, they make you disappear. <laughs>